Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord we bless you. Our reading for today is found in the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verses 16 to 18. Then those who feared the Lord spoke to one another, and the Lord listened and heard them. So a book of remembrance was written before him, for those who fear the Lord and who meditate on his name. They shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts, on that day that I make them my possession. And I will spare them as a man spares his own son who serves him. Then you shall again discern between the righteous and the wicked, between the one who serves God and the one who does not serve him. The Book of Remembrance is the title of this sermon. The name Malachi in the Hebrew language means messenger. Malachi is God's messenger to God's people. The book of Malachi is a detailed account from the Lord to Israel concerning their disobedience. His charges against them includes offering defective sacrifices, teaching error, being unfaithful to their wives, and complaining that it was futile to serve the Lord. God pronounces strict judgment upon those guilty of such offenses. God then makes it clear that He hears and knows the intent of every heart and desires to honor those who honor Him. For those who find me find life and receive favor from the Lord. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 35. In God's infinite knowledge, God does not need a written record in order to keep track of human deeds. However, when God speaks to us, He often uses metaphor or parables to help us understand. The people of Malachi's time understood what a book of remembrance represented. It is important to note that the reward was often delayed. That is why books were needed so that no worthy deeds for the king went unrewarded. In Malachi chapter 3 and verse 17, the Lord says, On the day when I act, He is indicating that faithful service may go on for years with no apparent reward, but he is taking notes. There is coming a day when God will act. The Israelites had come to a place of thinking that God no longer saw or cared about them. Their jealousy towards evil doers had blinded them and they could no longer see. Scripture is clear that loyalty to God does not go unnoticed or unrewarded. Jesus spoke of this many times. The implication is that what is done on earth is forever recorded in heaven. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 10. The book of remembrance is simply a concept God used to encourage His faithful ones that their love and service for Him was appreciated. God knows you and knows those who belong to Him. God will always preserve His own. The account of righteous Noah is a good illustration of God preserving those who truly honor Him. Be dressed ready for service and keep your lamps burning. Luke chapter 12 and verse 35. Jesus encouraged his followers to rejoice that their names were written in heaven. Luke chapter 10 and verse 20. Even as he said it, Jesus knew that their faithfulness to him would result in early trouble, heartache, and even death. Act chapter 9, Ember 16. But knowing that their names were written in God's book 
encourage the disciples not to grow weary of doing good. For in due season we will reap if we do not lose heart. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9. Those who continue to honor the Lord when many around them fall away can rest in the confidence that their names are written in God's book of remembrance. The day is coming when all the people will hear the voice of the Son of God. Either he will hear the words, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Matthew chapter 25 and verse 23. Or, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 23. There are many strange things and events coming to pass before our very eyes. This is the time to get down on our knees in the presence of our Creator. We need to make things right with Him. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 18. So then, let us not be like others. Who are asleep, but let us be awake and sober. People are still waiting for their own things in life. They are trying to fulfill dreams, ideas, and plans. Beware, for when they are saying peace and safety, then sudden destruction will come up, will come upon them. Suddenly, like labor pains on a woman with child, and they shall not escape. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 3. Life is truly beautiful when you know and serve the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other high like the most high. Jesus told Peter to mind his own business and to follow him. John chapter 21 and verse 22. Do not focus on what people think and do or even say. Focus in the word of God. All the answers are there. The book of Revelation says, let the one who does wrong continue to do wrong. Let the vile person continue to be vile. Let the one who does right continue to do right. And let the holy person continue to be holy. Revelation chapter 22 verse 10 and 11. Continue to do the things of God. The question arises Are you in God's book of remembrance? Jesus is the only way to that book. If Jesus is not your Savior and Lord, there is no name written. May the name of the Lord be praised now and forevermore. Amen.